four. Your Quad City Storm, it is Logan Nelson. Out to get things going. Hayden Holton up front as well with Marcin Kevix. Palmerville and Jake Maynard back in the starting lineup on defense. Routabush outmatched Tuesday night by Brent Moran, continuing an outstanding season. Finished the regular season with a 922 save percentage. 281 goals against and was fantastic in game one. It's a turnover, comes in front, they score! Mike Moran picks up the change and puts it in the bank to make it one nothing Storm with 17.38 left to go in the first period. Moran keeping the trend going in this postseason, that depth and scoring. Moran, such a versatile player, finished the regular season with seven goals, 19 assists, no goal bigger. And this one tonight, one nothing Storm leads, 16.44 to go in the first period. Get it again. Working to the horseshoe, Pepe, center point. Shoots, deflected in, a nice job by Moran, sticking with that one and getting a piece of it. Cross ice, Jansen, back to Pepe, winds. Fakes the shot, now gets it to Marcin Kevix. Marcin Kevix sneaks in, back to Pepe, one time chance they score. Now the crafty little move by Don Marcin Kevix. Snuck in, pulled the defender in just tight enough to get that. Buck back up to Pepe for the one-timer. Rail Yard Dogs had bodies in front. Moran wasn't able to see it to stop it. And we have a tie hockey game here with 531 left to go in the period. Nice outlet pass, finds the stick of Nelson. And on the left wing side, Nelson, who had passed just out in front of Marcin Kevix. Now Holton has it. Good feed to Palmerville. He shoots an absolute laser. Made it all the way in on Rodebush. And now Pat Marcin Kevix is swarmed. Gets his helmet ripped off by his former teammates. And there is a lot of pushing and shoving going on behind the Roanoke net. Rodebush takes a whack at Marcin Kevix as he skates back to the net. Pat Marcin Kevix enjoying the chorus of booze. Holds his hand up to his ears to say, I can't hear you. Make it louder. Hurts pinching in. Holton wins it again. Matson cannot get a stick on it. Holton follows that puck, but it'll be pushed to the boards. Five seconds left. It'll get out of the zone, but it's not going to matter much. That'll do it. Now, that was a fun period, Storm fans. We've got two more to go. And first, let's talk about it. Mobile Light Intermission Show is coming up right after this on your home for Guan City Storm Hockey, QC Sportsnet. Sponsor of live play-by-play -play of Guan City Storm Hockey. And we welcome you back to the Bergwin Center 1-1 as we return to action. And quickly, the puck makes its way in on Rodebush. He covers with the glove. Over center ice, Marcin Kevix, nice little backhand feed. Great poke check by Blaisdell. And now a chance the other way. It's Mike Moran on the right wing side. Shoots, rebound, put back on that. Sway in, they score! Wheel and Parrish bats it out of the air and behind Rodebush to give the Storm the lead 2-1. With 15.41 left to go in the second period, what a finish by Whelan Parrish. There you can see a late look on the replay for those of you tuning in on Flow Sports. An impressive tally for that puck. He'll be sent to the far corner now, and Municello is there, seven seconds left. Into the boards by Blaisdell. Municello gets back to it, sees it to the point, two seconds left. One time chance fanned on by Smirnoff, and that will do it. A storm hold a one goal lead heading into the second intermission. 2 1 is our score. We've got the Bud Light intermission report coming up after this on your home for Quad City Storm Hockey, QC Sportsnet. 20 minutes, all that stands in between the Quad City Storm and the second trip in franchise history to the SPHL's President Cup semifinals. That clock is ticking. We are underway here from Roanoke, Virginia. And Holton wins it back. First two at Blaisdell, fires it off the glass, but not out. Held at the near point. And now moved down to the half wall for Kelly. Kelly from the goal line now. Back up top to Alvo. Alvo moves at far point. Now it comes back to the near side for Kelly. Back up top, Alvo. He shoots, he scores.
Roanoke finds the back of the net again, and once again it comes on the power play. The 535 left to go in the third period. They have tied this game at two. I do not think that shot was deflected, but there was a lot of traffic in front. And it will be Alvo's goal as another wrist shot thrown in and they score. Long wrist shot from the point, bounced off of Moran, and puck was not cleared out. It'll be tapped in by Alex DiCarlo, and in the blink of an eye, the Railyard Dogs have taken a one-goal lead. tie the game and eventually comes loose. Marcin Kevix has it. Owen player with a broken stick. Beautiful pass. Fournier down low. Put out in front. And again, the net is knocked off. There should be a delay of game there because it looks like Rodebush just kicked it off again. That happened in the first period. And I do believe there will be a delay of game minor issue. 33 seconds left to go. In regulation, Roanoke leads 3-2. Nelson brings it back up top to Fournier. Fournier holds, drops it to Darren McCormick. McCormick to the top of the circle, now center point Fournier. Marcin Kevick's one-time shot saved by Rodebush. Puck loose in front, knocked away by Matson, and again the net comes off its moorings. Clock will stop with 18 seconds left as there are bodies piled up right behind the crease. Parrish. Forward off the drop, puck goes in the corner. Roche ties it up there. McCormick jabbing away after it. Ten seconds left now in regulation as it is pried loose. Marcin Kevick's able to center. Nobody there to tap it in. Turn and fire shot out of the reach. Marcin Kevick's one last chance, and that will do it. The Quad City Storm dropped this one in game two. 3-2 your final score. They will have to come back to pick up game three tomorrow night.